Hi guys and welcome to another IBM BPM technical tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at using the IBM Cognos Insight tool in order to be able to dashboard, view and drill down on BPM generated data. So what is Cognos Insight? Cognos Insight is a uh, a business users tool installed in the workspace which allows the business user to access data and be able to very very quickly produce charts and graphs of data that can be sourced from IBM BPM. Now not only can this be used to draw graphs and charts this is live data meaning that we can drill down into that data in real time. We can perform all kinds of slicing and dicing on that data in a very, very cool fashion. So IBM Cognos is, a on, uh, I'm, uh, is, a, is an OLAP tool that allows us to produce cube views of data which can then be dynamically driven down into. So let's, uh, let's back up a little and let's talk about how we can go about doing this. Here's an example illustrative BPM process. So in this process we imagine we're a widget company and this is our process for selling widgets. An order arrives, we may have to build the widget, we ship it to the customer, we bill the customer. This is a simple process flow. And then at the end of the process we have a tracking point. And what the tracking point does is it l allows us to write data that is contained within the process. Whoop. Let's back up on that. It allows, it allows us to take data which is in the process and write it to the performance data warehouse database. So in this case, this process writes the territory of the sale, the price, who sold it, when it was sold, the type of widget and the customer. So each time an instance of this process runs, when that process reaches conclusion, a new single record is written to the performance data warehouse that contains all of this data. Now I'm not going to belabor that anymore, that's a, that's a whole story into itself on using tracking points and the performance data warehouse. But suffice it to say that when this activity is reached in the process, a new row is inserted into the database. Now having written this process, I then wrote a driver which created a hundred such instances of the process and sent data through the environment. So data arrived in a hundred instances of this process which resulted in a hundred rows being written over time into the database. So at the conclusion of running this process, just to illustrate my point, we had a hundred new rows in the database. Now you could imagine this as a hundred hundred rows corresponding to a hundred instances of your process, of your own process, running over time. And this is where we can start talking about Cognos. Now this is the end result of what I of what I ended up building in the Cognos environment. So now let's start again and see how I could build this. So from a new Cognos environment don't save that. From a new Cognos environment, when Cognos is initially launched, it looks like this. From the Cognos tooling, I can select Get Data, and I'm going to import data, and I get to specify the source of my data. Now, I can retrieve the data from a file that would usually be an Excel spreadsheet or a common separated value, but in our case, we want to retrieve data from IBM's B, uh, PDW database. So I can select Pull Down, select an ODBC database, I can select my PDW database. I can log in with my user ID and password, connect to the database. Once I'm connected to the database, I can run this builder here. Whoop, sorry, I guess I supplied the wrong database db2 db admin and db. Oh, it's not db admin, it's db2 admin. Let's try that again db2 admin and my password. And this time I'll test the connection. Yep, that works. Hit the OK button. And now I can open my query builder. Now my query builder queries the tables in that database. Here's my PDW database. Here's the list of views in my database. And I'm going to select my 
uh, my table, which is my widget sale table. I drag and drop that over here. And now I've got all the columns corresponding to my data. They were just added for us by the Cognos query builder by looking at the various fields. Now, there's too many fields here. I don't need the timestamp years. I don't need the tracking group. I don't need the tracking point ID. So maybe this was not the quickest way to add them. I could have selected a, a table and then dragged in the columns I wanted, or I could drag in the whole table and then delete the columns I don't need. You choose. Uh, either way, we get to the same end, which is that we end up with a view of the columns that I want to report on. I hit the OK button and finish. And now Cognos Insight has built me an OLAP cube based upon my data. And here, for example, is a table that gets inserted automatically. This was the total number of customers versus the sales. Now I can shrink that table and I can add, for example, a new table. So I can come here, insert a new cross tab. That's a new table type. Come over here and maybe I want this table, this chart, to be, for example, uh, let's say sales date by sale. So this shows us the different sales by the different quarters. Now I can then come and modify the visuals in my table. So I can say that uh, in this case, and this is just an example, that I only want to sh see the chart. And I want the chart to take up this much room on my screen. And we don't want to see the count. Oh, so let me bring that, let me bring the cross tab back in. I don't want to see the count, so we'll hide this. Don't care about that. Just show me the chart, and there we've got a nice chart. Great. And in this case, I also don't want to see the uh, overview at the top, and I want to lock this widget, and now it's a locked component on my screen. Um, I can add in various filtering mechanisms, so I can drag in here a filter, and I can lock this widget. And now if I click in different customers, it dynamically filters my data by the data I've selected. Now again, this is all Cognos Insight capability, but step back for a moment. Look what we've done. By writing data into our, into our uh, PDW database, in just a few minutes, we've been able to create this Cognos Insight report, which is live. We can look at the data. Now, I can reload the data from PDW at any time, and I can save this workspace so that simply by loading this workspace, I'm showing this chart. Now, I can have as many tabs as I want, so I can have different pages showing different sets of information. I can annotate and color this page, so I can, for example, insert a, a, a title. I can come along and uh, give this page a title. This is my test page, for example. Uh, make that uh, some very big font, such as like this. Drag this over here. Drag this over here. Lock this widget down. And now I've got a title on my page. And again, you can see that I can customize the look and feel of this page in any way I want. Should I want to, I can come along, change the colors, change the styles, uh, create my own coloring scheme, basically change all the attributes that I might conceivably want for creating diagrams. Now, because these are live charts, I can do drill downs and cross tabs between them. That means that I can come in here and without knowing in advance what I want to see, I can filter my data and slice it and dice it in any fashion I choose in real time. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to say. You're going to come away from this going, well, you, you, I, I've teased you, but uh, your journey now is to take the relatively short journey to understand Cognos Insights.
It installs in five minutes flat and it's a breeze to use. I mean, there's no server to configure. You install the workspace, you run it up, you point it at your data source, you bring in the data and you're live building these charts. And hopefully you saw how easy it was to create a data source using Performance Data Warehouse. Alrighty, thanks guys. I appreciate your time and I hope you found something useful. There'll be more BPM technical tutorials in the future. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.